Mark Twain once said that the air up there in the clouds is very pure and fine, bracing and delicious. And why shouldn't it be? It is the same that the angels breathe. We are out here at the, heading towards Big Sur where we got four Jeeps. Uh, you got Jimmy, me, Chris, and Cheryl with San Francisco Bay Area Jeep Association where we decided to go up Plasket Ridge. You can't beat this view right here. No, you can't. <laughs> Woo! The four of us met up at Safeway Aptos before heading out to Plaskett Ridge. Meeting up at a place where you can grab provisions just in case you missed out any and filling up your tanks with gas is always a smart move. Plaskett Ridge from San Francisco is roughly about 4 hours of travel and will have you go through US 101 then California 1 South. Our convoy decided to take a quick stop at the entrance to the Old Coast Road where one could see Bixby Bridge. Big Sur's version of the Golden Gate, a must-see road trip spot for many and probably the most Instagram feature along the Highway 1 coastline. As with any expeditions, make sure to have a backup plan. In this case, Chris brought out his map. GPS signal around mountainous areas are at best spotty. The old coast road is a dirt road that still exists in part and preceded the current Big Sur Coast Highway along the northern coast of Big Sur, California. It was initially a trail created by Ramsen and Iselin Native Americans to travel along the coast in present-day Monterey County. A 10.2 miles portion of the original Old Coast Road still exists. It is accessible to high-clearance vehicles from Highway 1 immediately north of the Bixby Creek Bridge. The road enters the El Sur Ranch for six and a half miles and descends sharply into the Little Sur River Canyon. The remaining 10.2 miles portion of the original Old Coast Road connects on the north end to Highway 1 immediately north of the Bixby Creek Bridge. Most of the land on either side of the county road is privately owned. Trespassing hunting, camping, or fires are not permitted at any time. The Old Coast Road crosses the river twice at the junction of its north and south forks, formerly the location of the Idlewild Resort from about 1900 to 1921. We finally got to the end of the Old Coast Road reaching Andrew Molera State Park and back to Highway 1.
What are we having? We're having ribeye with mushroom and long bread and bulgogi. Mmm, yum yum. We had front row seats to nature's magnificent show, watching as the sun set above the clouds. We had a good night's sleep, and as I got out of our tent, I couldn't help but be amazed at such a beautiful sunrise. Every sunrise gives you a new beginning. It is an opportunity to enjoy life, breathe freely, think and love. I am grateful to be spending outdoors with loved ones and friends. As the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. We began to break camp and stowed away our gear. We packed with us our garbage and made sure we left our campsite clean. Just a friendly reminder, before heading out to Plaskett Ridge, Call the ranger station and check of current conditions. They do have restricted places so you just can't disperse camp where you want. Do a gear check before heading out. Make sure everything is working. Bring with you your medicine if you have any medical conditions. This is JM Capistrano with Expeditionary Jeep and I'll see you guys next time.